Hello everyone, it's Sizzle and I'm back yet again playing Simple Life 2. And in between the episodes, I actually did not do too much at all this time. But uh, we'll do a quick here look here. Uh, I made my small tree a little larger. I kinda, kinda what? I put a hopper on here. Just so I can pump in stone and automatically bake the bricks. So, it makes that a little easier. Also, I had levers, so I can control these with uh, redstone signals. Uh, that way I can turn them on and off when I need to. Easy peasy. And uh, I just think I have them set to extract, right? Yeah. Make sure the auto extract is on. Active with signal to put those there and it'll work. Uh, why does it do that? Anyway. <laughs> I put down all the seeds I had. So I had every seed. Well, I had all but two. Then I ran around and grabbed the last two. And I've already got all those quests there. So ooh, I was looking at growth accelerators. Um, so yeah. Well, apparently I didn't get parsnip yet. I was waiting for that one to grow, wasn't I? There we go. Parsnip. There we go. That's the last one. I wanted to have them on before I actually started the video because uh, it would have spammed <laughs> that sound over and over and over. So we have that now. Bam. And bam. Free herb butter parsnips, which actually sounds delicious. And uh, I would have some of that myself. But uh, yeah, anyway, I did those. I got them done. And uh, not that big a deal. There are different tiers here of the seed. So there's tier two and tier three. So if you want bamboo shoot seed, let's go here. Go do bam, bam, bamboo, bamboo shoot seed, bam. If you want to do that, you can buy it uh, through the market, or you can crossbreed it. So you could crossbreed it with cactus root seed and celery seed, and uh, boom, you got to just use egg craft. And we're actually going to do a tiny bit of egg craft today, just a tiny bit. I had this set up, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I want to get to some um, secondary power because this power isn't going to really cut it, but. Uh, because of well, the charcoal, right? Charcoal and it doesn't produce much. I was thinking of setting up some immersive windmills, so we might work towards that point. Don't know if we'll get to it today, but uh, I do want to do something else first. I kind of want to speed up the making of charcoal. Uh, to do that, we're going to need something here. What is it called? Uh, lava wood? Lava wood? Is that it? Lava wood. Is this the stuff? Yeah. Put some jungle planks. Well, put some wood in there and pour some lava on it, and we'll get some lava wood. So we're going to take that. And we're going to do that real quick. So I think we just throw that into a basin. Sweet. And uh, we are going to need a bucket of lava, though. So let's go grab one really quick. Hammer that out. Uh, lava wood, if you put it on a axe or a tool or whatever, it auto smelts. So if it's on a sword and you say, you know, go and deal with a pig, <laughs> you'll get cooked meat out of it, right? So that's kind of what I'm going for there. Uh, probably the easiest way to do this. I want to get this in the drain really easy. So let's just go here. And I think you can just do this. There you go. That'll handle that. Then I guess we can put our conduit back on. And boom. You can also make uh, obsidian this way too. So I could put the lava in there. And then, uh, whatchamacallit. You know what I mean? Put water in there as well. Then just pump that out. And uh, it'll mix inside here. Make your obsidian. And then you can pump it out. Uh... But yeah, anyway, we're going to set this to, uh, no, active signal. And I'm just going to set that one to insert right now. You could put a second block here and then put a second lever and set these ones to in and out. Then it would be on auto extract as well. So it would pull out of here only when the lever was pulled. Uh, but I just don't want a block there. Uh, <laughs> I should be able to do that. Oh, where'd my lava go? Wait a second. Haha, -ha, I found the culprit. Let's put this on extract, put it on insert, and there we go. It's going to take that. It's going to make us some lava wood, and I might as well grab a few. I don't know how many we need, actually. Depends on which part I think I, I uh, switch. Because we actually need to change this to something else. What is it called? Uh, is it firewood? Yes, I think this is what we actually need to make. Let's go to... Uh, Let's just firewood in the parts of there. It'll tell us. Auto smelt is on this. Okay, it's actually the firewood. So we did mix this with two blaze powder. Per. Hopefully I have enough. I guess I really did, like I said before, it depends on which part I do. Uh, I don't have many blaze rods. I did finally, I got the blaze achievement actually, and I didn't actually trade that one in. Where's that one at? That one's down here. Bam. Which ones we got? Blaze. We got an intermediate helmet. That's pretty cool. Uh, what else we got here? Spiders, apparently. Three root loot bags, which isn't bad. Slimes, three more loot bags. Loot bags galore. 
and zombies. And this is just for me to go around and do its stuff. Uh, apparently there's three tiers. So the next one's going to give us epics. I wonder if the next one's going to give us legendaries. That would actually be really cool. <laughs> the amount of loot. Look at all of that. Wow. And I'm probably not going to combine them. I'm going to probably just use them as they are. And uh, I'm st I still want the lower resources right now. Uh, I could make one more. So let's do that. There we go. And I am going to put this on my axe. I won't leave it, but since we can swap parts out, it's not that big a deal. Uh, I just need to check really quick if it matters which part we put it on. So, auto smelt. I need to see the parts. So it doesn't seem to matter which part. Okay. Well, if it doesn't matter, that'll change things. I will repair this first because I don't know if it's going to lose its ability to be repaired with stone when I do this. But uh, we'll see. Go here, because right now I can repair it with stone, because I've used stone stone bits. There we go. Bam. That'll give us that. And which part should we do? I'm just thinking here. Probably a tough rod. What options do we have? We could do the handle. The handle is mag magnetic. I'll probably get rid of the iron handle. Probably the best bet here. Uh, we'll need to actually make the part here. So let's go here. Go to our tough binding, and uh, where are we going here? Oh, and I made a, a what you call it, a scythe as well, because I figure if we're gonna be doing a lot of farming, we might as well have a scythe, and uh, yeah, it'll be useful. Let's grab that. Hopefully that's enough. How much is it? Oh, I didn't actually derp. <laughs> uh, I hope I have enough here. Blaze rods. Oh, I have them on me because I just went and got them. Boom. Oh no, why'd I do that? Oh, I just derped. I think I could have sag milled those for more. No, you can't? Oh, you can. <laughs> I would have got, yeah, I would have got 12 out of them and had enough. I'm gonna have to run to the nether real quick. There we go, I got the last single blaze rod we need. I only went and got one. I didn't bother getting more. What's in this thing? Boom. So much food in these. I'm gonna end up with so much as random food. Look at that. Bam, bam. Uh, I, I should open up some of these. I could get some good stuff. It does have good stuff in it sometimes. Nickel? Nickel's a really good one, actually. There we go. Bam. Uh, <laughs> they do span your inventory, though. Anyway, let's grab this. Where is it? Where is it? Bam. Grab that. Uh, I guess I'll open those up later. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Boom. I'll have to get the uh, loot recycler. That's definitely something I'm going to have to get at some point. Uh, do I want to wear that yet? I don't know if I do. I mean, it's going to make me look silly. I guess I'll wear it. Why not? I can't actually repair it yet. So let's not wear it yet, actually. Let's do that. Let's grab... We have this now. We have that. we got to combine that and that. Let's do this. Bam. Do that. And I think it said we did four for the material, so that's fine. We have two extra. I had one in here. I was actually literally one blaze power short, which was fantastic. And, uh... Grab this, put that there, bam. And uh, we should be able to swap the part out now, so let's do that. And that, and that. There we go. And just got an auto smell. Excellent. I want to see if this works now. So let's take it over here, try cutting down, cutting down a tree and see what happens. If it works the way I hope it does, it's going to do something wonderful. And look at that. Instant charcoal. Excellent. That'll actually speed things up massively. I set up this tree wall, this giant tree wall out of here. Pretty much just to make charcoal, but uh, yeah, pretty sweet. That'll give me an easy way to get charcoal. I can come over here, uh, get this whenever I want. So that was kind of what I was going for there. Nice little, you know, little trick, little thing, Bob. That works pretty well. It doesn't work at every pack though either, so I wasn't sure. Sometimes configs and stuff and different mods uh, change how things work, but that's nice. I figured that this one was pretty, you know, basic. Uh, it would work in this one, so excellente. There we go. And okay, the next thing I want to get working on is probably a little bit of agricraft. So we need to crossbreed the seeds to get the hemp seeds. So the hemp seeds are here. And we need the hemp seeds to make the uh, improved windmill. And that's the one I want to make. But the, the hemp seeds are going to take crossbreeding cotton seeds and regular seeds. So yeah, we're going to have to do a little agricraft here. So let's grab uh, the seed analyzer. Oh, we're going to need some iron. I should probably grab some of that. We don't need a ton, but we are going to need a little bit. So let's do that. There we go. Oh, we're also going to need some wood. And some sticks, probably. 
That's probably good. And I think I have panes. Glass panes? Where are they at? Where did I put them? I have too much stuff. There we go. Sweet. Let's go here. We need the seed analyzer. Uh, oh, redstone and planks. Let's grab one redstone. And then probably some planks. There we go. Put those there. Grab that and seed analyzer. Uh, the next thing we're probably going to need is going to be, I guess, the clippers. We probably won't need them right away, uh, but we need these. So let's grab. I do have some shears. I don't know if I have a full pair. Uh, I think this is my tool chest. I don't know if it'll take broken ones. <laughs> we'll try. We'll take them. Probably won't. No. <laughs> Can we repair those and use those? Because that'd be fine. I'd be fine with that. Uh, here. There we go. That works. And uh, I guess we can grab our clippers. That's fantastic. And anything else we need. Just think it here. Oh, well, I want to get into other stuff here, actually. I completely forgot. I want to grab this. I made some fused quartz. And we're going to make ourselves a reservoir as well for an infinite water source. So we should do that. Bam. Ah, uh, reservoir. Reser, bam. Ah, uh, we'll need a cauldron. I don't think we have any of those. Not a chance. There we go. There we go. There's a cauldron. There's a reservoir. Bam. Uh, we got our yetter wrench. What else do we need here? We're going to need a bunch more wood, so I might as well get it going. Boom. Here. Grab that. Boom. Boom. Okay. So let's go to Agri for a sec. AgriCraft. Uh, we're going to want a barrel. Wooden water tank. I want the oak one. Well, I guess I'll just make it because it doesn't want to show me the recipe. There we go. We'll need a water tank. And we'll also need some irrigation channels. So let's take a look at those. Why is there 78 pages? Let's get rid of that. Uh, I guess we could just do this. Yeah, I guess we're going to have to do it that way. I don't know how many of these we need. I just gotta set up a little small area. We're gonna kinda just make our things grow a lot quicker. Uh for now. That's probably way more than we need. Actually it definitely is. And uh that should be good to go, actually, right there. Do I have any ladders? Should probably have a couple of those. I can't remember. Oh, that's probably not a good spot to put that. Uh let's oh, I do not want to break it with that because it might break the uh chest behind it. There we go. Let's grab a ladder. And boom. That is not enough. Uh, I guess we'll make some sticks. <laughs> it's always one more thing. Just I gotta make one more thing. I'm just gonna make one more thing. Over and over and over. There we go. Let's grab that. I don't need this much wood now. Probably one stack would do us. There we go. And that should be good to go. Okay. Last thing we should need is a mattock that isn't broken. So let's do that. There we go. Uh, go here. Just so we could hoe some land really easy. There we go. So I'm just going to go here and set this up. And uh, we're going to set up some, you know, sprinklers and get that going. Oh, I didn't make the sprinklers. So we'll have to get that last, I guess. It doesn't have to be in a hurry, I guess. Uh, we're just going to do a little small area. I uh, guess we'll... doesn't really matter where it goes. We'll just do kind of... I just want to do a little 3x3 three three, kind of for crossbreeding. And stuff like that so just a little temporary thing boom and yeah, might as well build a little structure with it come over here and the more of these you have the faster it's gonna work be more efficient but uh, you don't need a ton not a ton especially for base level stuff so not a big deal I guess we could just kind of bring it around here bam probably throw the tank right in the center and then we just need infinite water. And grab our reservoirs. I think... Can this direct input? I can't remember. I am going to have to go grab uh, two buckets of water. So let's go do that real quick. Here we go. Got one. Do I have a bucket on me? That would be great. No. Okay. <laughs> Guess we'll grab two iron. Guess we'll come here. Clear out these sticks. Sticks should be up here anyway. There we go. Two, one, two, one, two. Bam. Two buckets. Grab this. One, two. 
throw some ladders on those puppies. <laughs> I don't like it that in 1.7 you can't put the reservoirs. You can put them sideways in 1.10. Yeah, I can't seem to do that in uh, 1.7. But, uh, you know, you have to deal with the things. <laughs> bam, bam. That'll be our infinite water. And I just want to see if this is going to automatically pull or not. I can't remember if it can. There we go. Let's go here. Yes, it can. That should start spreading water around. Excellent. So the only thing we need now are sprinklers. So let's go make those real quick. Well, we'll need, what, three of them? Not three. Not three of them. Nine of them, I mean. Oh, what did I just wrench? I have no idea what I just wrenched. I'm very confused. Anyway, let's go sprinkler. Grab some of these. We'll need some iron bars. What else was it? What was the top thing? Just planks, iron, and a bucket for each one. So that's actually pretty expensive. Now that I'm looking at it, we do have some iron bars. That's two per. That only gives us six. We'll need another set. Let's see here. Four, five. There we go. There's nine. Okay, so we're going to take these and just run these over here. Pick up all the stuff we dropped on the ground because we might as well keep that wood <laughs> rather than throw it away. And there we go. These things should start rotating and spitting out water. Are they working? They are. It's just the particles are really kind of weird. <laughs> you can barely see the particles. Oh, well, not a big deal. Um, we'll need our medic. Yes. Let's grab you. You. We'll just do a little area. I don't know if I need water here. I don't think I do. I think this will water it, right? Won't it? <laughs> doesn't seem to be making the ground darker though. Nope, not gonna work. I guess we're gonna need yep, one more bucket. There we go. That'll hydrate the ground at least. There. Excellent. Okay, we have all that set up. And this is gonna be just for leveling up seeds. This is the whole purpose. It's just a kind of a little station here. Uh, we need to take one of these seeds, these cotton seeds, throw it in there. We gotta get it analyzed. It has to be analyzed. Uh, before it can work with Agricraft. Uh, we also need regular seed, so let's do that. I'm actually gonna grab that stuff because there's a quest with wheat. And I need a fair amount of it. I think it was like about a stack or maybe 48. Not that big a deal though. Anyway, that'll do that. Then we'll grab, what is the other one here? You, put you in there as well. And bam, they'll come out with stats. Why does that one say 222? I haven't <laughs> done any seeds yet. I have no idea. Maybe that can happen? <laughs> anyway, we're going to put down crop sticks. We're going to take a seed, and we're going to take one dim. I'm going to throw one here, and one there, and bam. Uh, it's not going to grow very quick because it's nighttime. Oh, actually, it is starting to grow. Uh, but it will make stuff grow a lot quicker. Uh, we need these to fully grow. Uh, once they fully grow, um, they're going to try the crossbreed well first we'll just try the grow but uh if i do this if i take crop sticks and put two it'll try the crossbreed these two and create uh, a hybrid between them and the hybrid we want are hemp seeds but uh, i'm gonna go sleep so we actually have some sunlight i think i'm just gonna leave these alone for a bit i'm gonna let them grow let them crossbreed we'll go get to work on the actual windmill parts see what we need there i'd also like to make a watering can but i don't think we we have what we need to make the watering can yet Let's see here, watering can. Boom. And see what we need here. That. We can do that. We can do that. We don't have water essence yet. Uh, how much water essence do we need? Five. That actually take quite a while. So I actually think I'll wait on that for a bit. Um, let's see here. The, the sprinkler should handle it. I mean, it's constantly giving them water and kind of giving them a little uh, boost. Um, the next thing we're going to need is yet more buckets because we don't have enough. Actually, we don't need buckets. Uh, we'll just go... I already have buckets of this, don't I? Creosote. I'm going to need some creosote. So let's grab these. Bam. Uh, I think you just surround it with wood. I think that's the way it works. Grab that. Go here. Is this it? Yes. Excellent. Boom. Boom. We're just going to make some treated wood planks. Bam and bam we may need more but i mean it's not a problem to get now we can just throw it in there <laughs> and get a whole bunch 
There we go. Excellent. I'm just going to throw these back in here and use them when I need them. There we go. Okay, now that we got that part done, um, the next thing we're going to do, let's look at the windmill. So windmill, windmill, bam. We need, I want to make the improved. So we need these windmill blades. So we treated wood planks, which I just made, and treated wood. So let's grab some sticks real quick. Let's grab like 24, get that done. And uh, how many of these do we need? I think it's eight arms, eight arms. So we're going to need eight windmill blades each times four. That, that, uh, we might be able to do those already. Go here. There's eight. Bam. Uh, pretty sweet. So that part's done. And we could already make this one, the lower version. But that one's not very good. They're neither of them particularly good. But uh, I just want to try some different power because I always go thermoelectrics. Anyone who watches my videos knows I have a bit of a thermoelectric uh, addiction. <laughs> Uh, so the next thing we're going to need is a kinetic dimato. This is the thing that's actually going to, you know, you connect it to this and it's going to produce the power. So we're going to have to make one of these copper coils and we're probably going to have to, yeah, engineering wire cutters. cutters. So let's grab those. Boom, boom. Come here. Bam. Uh, I want the wire cutters. There we go. Do that. Is there a way for the, I didn't even look. How are we going to make plates? Oh, we can make plates there. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, you can do them this way. Well, that's much easier. Let's do that. There we go. And let's do that. There we go. Oh, apparently that is a quest as well. <laughs> let's go back to our kinetic. Check this out. Go here. LV wire coil. This. What am I missing here? Everything. Always oh, sticks. Hammer it flat. We'll check out those rewards in a bit. There we go. Can we make a copper coil? We just need an iron ingot. Boom. Did I get one? Yes, I did. Copper coil. Bam. That's done. Last thing we need is three more iron. One, two, three. And two of you. And finally, connect. Connect dynamo. So that's two parts that we need. Uh, the windmill. Were there any other parts we could make right now? Probably not. Kind of check it out here. That. No. Everything else is that fabric, which is going to take the hemp. So, we kind of wait an eye on there. Let's go see if this has done anything yet. Looks like it may have. No. Just waiting for it to crossbreed now. So, everything's ready. I just need it to kind of go to the next step here. I may do something here, though. Let's grab... This. I want to grab some crop sticks. I want to kind of speed this up a little bit. There we go. Let's grab and here. And let's grab the clippers. And we're going to start clipping these. Oh, they're only low level, so I'm not going to get many clippings, am I? Anyway, we got two clippings, and every time one of these clippings, I think, is a chance to duplicate the seed. So there we go. We got two. We made it. That's great. Uh, we're going to clip this one as well. I clip that some more. Oh, I didn't mean to clip it so much. That's fine though. And uh, one, two, three. Oh, I didn't get any. Are you serious? Oh, I have seeds anyway. I could just identify another seed and do it that way, I suppose. And that'll give it a second chance to, you know, crossbreed. So just kind of do it that way. Put that there. Put that there. It just didn't grow up again. I do have some bone meal on me. I do want to speed it up a little bit. Although I don't have a ton of bone meal. Because they need to be mature for it to work. There we go. So I guess we'll leave that. We'll go work on something else here. I want a capacitor. Not the, you know, inter IO one. I want one of the immersive ones. So let's take a look here. That, that, that. That's actually really cheap. Low voltage capacitor. We have lead, iron, copper, treated wood, and a redstone. That's cool. Take a look here. We can almost make that straight up. So that's pretty cool. Two, three. Let's grab a lead. If we got it, we don't have much, but we do have it. And a redstone. There we go. That's cool. Grab that. Oh, go back it. Go back a step. Grab that. And we've got our low voltage capacitor. Last thing. Well, we need two more things here. Is our 
So we need. Let's go. What are they called? What are the? Is it just wires? Well, we will need some wire, so I am going to have to cut some more of that. But I want the wire connectors, that's it. So we need some copper and some hardened clay. Let's grab one, two, three, four. How much was that? For one set? That's four. And then we need the wire relay, possibly, as well. So let's get six of those cooked up. Three, four, five, six. That should handle that. I could just smelt it in here. Oh, that's a sag bill. That is not going to do what I want it to. Anyway, we'll do that. And that and that. So that's that. That'll handle that. And we are going to need at least probably two more sets of wire. So we should probably do that. Oh, I took away my tools. <laughs> Let's grab you and you. There we go. Do it the right direction. There we go. And there we go. The two sticks, fill that there. A little bit of lag there, I noticed. And there we go, get our wires so we can wire this stuff up. I'm gonna be using a lot of this wire. It's just gonna fit this build in this area, so I'm gonna be using it as we go. Bam, LV, and what is the other one? That was the low voltage wire connector and we want not medium voltage. This one connector I just need three iron or two iron one two apparently we're getting quests all over the place I didn't even check that these were quests but uh, I'm not gonna complain at all I want the I got the connectors low voltage oh it's just putting them in a weird order I'm looking for uh, three relays and three of the other ones that just kind of confused me so low voltage wires we actually need copper here we go Grab our low voltage wire relay, maybe? Or not? What am I missing? Low voltage wire relay. Fantastic. There you go. Let's go see what we actually got here. Quest. Which was this one in? Holy moly. We just tore this apart. Uh, creosote. Fine. Let's see here. Low voltage wire coil. Great. Low voltage wire coil. Great. Let's see here. Wow. I guess I didn't need the low voltage wires. <laughs> Another capacitor. Pretty sweet. That's well, giving us everything we need to get going. Look at that. Oh. Oh, it gave us hemp. Ha. Huh. So, how much hemp do we actually need? That's actually pretty cool. Was that the fiber? It was the fiber. Uh, let's go back to windmill real quick. Windmill. How much of this did I actually need? I need a lot. <laughs> a ton, actually. Now that I look at it, we need 8, 16, 24, 32 times 8. Is it really that expensive? Okay, we may make this basic one first and work on the other one tomorrow. Or I'll do it in between episodes because that is way more than I thought it was. I kind of want to see if we got what we needed here. We did not. <laughs> the joys. I think it's about a 50% chance every time it does this. So, yeah. Anyway, probably going to set up the other one, and then we'll get to work on the other one on the next day. Okay, since we're going to do it this way, we're going to do a little different. I don't know if you can connect these to wooden posts, but I'm going to try. So, uh, let's make some treated sticks, I guess. Apparently not, because for some reason it wants to do chiseled ones, and the system doesn't want to do it. Uh, we will need some stone bricks. I do think I have at least a couple around. Yes, we do. Let's do that. Try this. And I've never tried connecting it to one of these before. I just got to try it out and see if it works. There we go. And there we go. This is a wooden post. You could just use it to usually just to relay wires around and stuff. Um, I'm probably going to end up with a couple of these things. But uh, I'm going to just kind of set one up here right now and see if I can get it working off this. Uh, I, I don't see a reason why not, actually. Let's, uh, as long as this could connect to it, and it can. There we go. It doesn't actually connect. <laughs> but it gives it, I guess I could hide it. It doesn't really matter. Uh, let's go make a basic windmill. Nope, I'll do that. Uh, making creosote's not a problem, so I don't worry about the, you know, having to make it again. All these parts, so. I need this. There we go. We need one iron. 
grab that. Go here. Guess we'll grab this. Grab that. There's our wood mill. And I should just have to connect this. Ooh, wind power. Look at that. Let's go up here. And we should just have to throw that there. If it's high enough. <laughs> I wonder if it can't. It's like it should be high enough. I'm pretty sure this just has to be connected to the dynamo, right? Unless I have it on the wrong side. I don't think so. I think this is the right side. Uh, why aren't you moving? Let's see here. Maybe power needs to be drawn? Maybe that's what it is? I don't know. Let's see here. Let's grab... I'm just going to kind of test this out real quick. Put, put that there. Uh, I need my immersive hammer, which I think is in my bag. There we go. And I need to... Yeah, I want this to input. That's output, right? This would be input. And okay, I think I got a fix there. I think I just didn't have high enough. I think I was just touching the ground. I thought it gave you an error if you tried to place it when it did that, but it did not, <laughs> obviously. It is turning now, so it is working. It is should be producing power now. Uh, we do need to get a you know generator hooked up to it. Uh, yeah, that confused the heck out of me. Anyway, there we go. These things are pretty straightforward. There we go. And they shouldn't be too be. Oh, I would fall off, wouldn't I? Let's go back up. <laughs> I guess. Uh, I guess we could just do it like that, right? Then I can run the power down to uh, these things. You know what I mean? The uh, tower things that I was building. Where did I even put it? I have no idea. Doesn't even matter. The uh, what was it called? The pole. That's what I'm talking about. But uh, I should be able to grab the LV wire. Go here, here. Then I should be able to just run a wire between them. There we go. One here, one here. And there we go. It's getting power. It wouldn't be much, mind you. It's probably only, my guess, at 100, probably 26 to 30 RF, somewhere around there. Uh, when it's raining, it actually generates more power. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to be able to fit these into a build. And that was kind of what I was thinking. Because this whole area is going to be mine colonies. So... I've never been a big fan of the water mills. They just kind of sit there and don't do anything. At least these things are semi-mobile and at least have more aesthetic to them. I'll be able to stay build, do a build though. I'm gonna do some kind of windmill build and that's what I'm gonna use, use this for. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably gonna use it uh, at first actually to run a tree farm because that is something we're in desperate need of. So that is pretty cool. Anyway, it's working. And uh, all I have to do now is, well, instead of how I have it now actually, well, I could run it for the side. If you wanted to run the power from this, I'll just show you real quick in case you've never used them. Do do. You could just uh, come here, wire aside until it's orange, and then you would run an LV wire connector. And if you want to direct it to one machine, you could just use another LV wire connector and a wire, and that'll work. Uh, otherwise, you put, again, normal LV wire connector and then pipe it into a wire relay. The wire relay will let you send multiple connections off it. So, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Anyway, you'll see it in the future. Oh, that's the thing I was looking for, the post. I swear it wasn't there a second ago. Let's go here, get rid of that, and that's that. We're not gonna wire up to anything right now. I'm just gonna kinda, oh, we do, we have hemp. Sweet, we have hemp now. That is pretty cool. <laughs> so, yeah. I need, oh, I got uh, two hemp seeds out of that, too. So I actually don't need anything. Let's uh, throw that in there. There we go. I'm actually going to break that. I actually need to level up these hemp seeds desperately. So boom and boom. What I'm going to do is just this here. There we go. Here we go. Grab that. Grab that. Uh, I guess we could throw... doesn't even matter. What? Why won't this plant? Huh? It analyzed them? That is actually really confusing. I think that might be a bug. What? <laughs> I don't understand. That shouldn't work. <laughs> Why won't this? It, it's weird that Edgar Craft 
will let you analyze the seeds, but it won't let you plant them. That is not the way it's supposed to work <laughs> at all whatsoever. I'll have to report that. I guess I'll be planting these normal <laughs> as agricraft seeds, which is really weird because it shouldn't work like that. Oh, well, I'll have to do normal crops. These things grow pretty quick anyway. That's, that's unfortunate. I would have liked to use that craft for it, but uh, anyway, have to figure that out later. And okay, I think I'm going to end this one here. So as always, if you guys like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button. It's much appreciated. I want you guys all to have a good one. I'll see you guys next video. Later.